What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over Google Display Ads website targeting. So if you want to target specific websites with your Google Display Ads, I'm going to show you how to do that today. So for example, I can go to usatoday.com and I can target this specific usatoday.com slash sports and you can see an advertisement over here on the right hand side. This is a Google Display Ad. Another quick example is fool.com so motley fool you can see there's an advertisement at the top here as we scroll down if we're reading an article you can see there's an advertisement on the right hand side so you can actually target specific websites with your advertisement so that's what i'm going to show you so if we come into our google ads account what you want to do first is create a new campaign now if you already have an existing campaign what you can do is just come over here go into your existing campaign and over on the left hand side you're going to see placements so websites are a type of placement and placement essentially refers to different areas where your ads are going to show and it includes YouTube channels, YouTube videos, websites, apps, and app categories. So what you can see here is for this specific campaign, I'm only targeting a couple of audiences, in market and custom intent audiences, and I'm not narrowing it down by websites or YouTube channels or anything like that. So you can see here, I don't have any placements. So that means my ads are going to show across the entire internet to anybody who is in my audiences. So what we can do is see where my ads appeared and what it's going to show is the individual websites where my advertisements have shown. And you can see right here, there's 320 total placements for my ads so far. And for this, I've only spent $23. So even with a small amount of money, you're going to reach a lot of different websites, especially if you're targeting audiences. And since my audiences are home, decor based you can see a lot of these different websites are based around home decor or just home and garden in general so you can see the total clicks impressions on each individual placement if you find a placement for example that's driving you conversions then what you can do is take those placements and make sure you're adding them to your individual campaigns because those ones are going to perform well for you if they start driving you conversions and if they don't and you don't see any more conversions from them you can always remove them in the future so now if we come over here again, you're going to see the type. So these are types of placements. So this Liz Fenwick DIY is a YouTube channel. Crafts by Caitlin, another YouTube channel. So since there's so many placements across the internet, it's hard to target all of them. So one thing you may want to do is if you're running campaigns to specific audiences or remarketing campaigns, I like to download the placements for my remarketing campaigns because those are people that have visited my websites and I can actually see the other types of websites that they're visiting and I can target those websites directly. So one thing we can do is let's just say I want to take all of these placements. We'll just take every single one. We can download this as an Excel file. So we'll download it and it's going to give us a file that looks like this so you're going to see it's going to show the placement it's going to show the actual specific page so what we can do is we can actually take a lot of these placements and we can just take the placements right here and come down and copy all of these different websites we can copy these mobile apps if we want to and one thing we might want to do is take these websites and start to add them to our campaigns so that's one place you might want to start and i'll show you that in a little bit later throughout the video so we're going to come back over here to google ads and what we're going to do is we're going to come back to our campaign screen and we're going to create a new campaign where we're targeting websites so when you're doing this what you're going to do is first choose the goal so if you've watched any of my tutorials you know i prefer to choose sales or leads depending on what you're trying to drive for your business. Let's just say, for example, we're trying to drive leads for this one. Then we're going to click on display. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a standard display campaign. So with smart display campaigns, Google ads is automatically going to choose your targeting based on what's going to perform the best for your business. So we're going to do a standard display campaign and we're going to enter our website here. So for this example, I'm going to be using farmhousegoals.com and we'll click on continue. Okay. So as you're building your campaign, what you can see here is you want to set your location targeting, your language targeting. You want to set your bid strategy. I have videos on all my channels about any of those things. If you want a little bit more detail, what I really want to focus on as we come down here is targeting websites. So where you want to start is content. So where you want your ads to show. Now, one thing to keep in mind is you can use audiences and demographics and then content as well, which means it's only going to show for people in specific audiences when they visit the specific websites that you set. So for example, to use the Motley Fool example I showed earlier, what I can say is I only want to target people who have investing interests when they visit fool.com. So you can use a couple of different targeting settings if you want to also target specific websites. It is going to narrow down the amount of impressions that you have available to you. So you'll see over here on the right hand side, it's showing 10 billion plus impressions because we're not targeting anything right now. So what we can do is we'll just say we don't want to worry about targeting audiences or demographics for this example. We just want to target content. 
So what we would do is we're going to come here to content targeting and we're going to go to placements. So placements is where you're going to find websites and this is where you can also target YouTube channels, YouTube videos, apps and app categories. I really just want to focus on websites here. So what I can do is search any word, phrase, URL, or video ID. So usually when I'm targeting placements, what I'll start with is I'll just do something like farmhouse decor. And right now it's showing me 328 websites. So what I'll do is I'll come into these websites. It's going to show the total impressions per week. So this is the ad inventory available on each of these different websites. So something like this, 1 million to 1.5 million impressions per week means they have a lot of ad inventory. And this website looks like it's really relevant to the types of ads that that I would be creating and putting on this website. So essentially what I'm trying to do is find people who are gonna visit these very relevant websites and hopefully go back to my website and eventually convert. Now you might see something like this, bdloan24.net, loan credit card, dealsplus.com, coupons. So you can always visit these different websites and see what their content is. And that's generally a best practice. So what I could do is go to the country cottage.net. So we'll take this website, we'll copy it. And if we come here, you can see there's an advertisement right at the top here. So our ad could potentially be at the top of this website for the country cottage.net. So you can also see the different types of content they have. So they have a lot of different content on their website, DIY backpacks, cricket craft room. So there might be a lot of content that's not exactly perfect for our advertisements, but generally you're not going to find the perfect placements all across the internet unless you're in certain niches that have a lot of ad inventory available. So usually what I'll do is I'll look at a lot of these different websites and I'll just try to use placements that look as relevant as possible to my own business, to the products and services that I'm going to be promoting. So architecture, art designs, I'll go country sheet cottage, town and country living, creek line house, futuristic architecture, driven by decor, addicted to decorating. So all these different websites that are based around home decor are the different ones that I want to target. And you can see we just have seven placements selected right now and it's giving us 4.5 million available ad impressions. So a best practice here, I usually start with at least 50 placements. I would recommend starting with 100 placements. So we can keep going down this list and what you wanna do is just keep adding the best possible placements for your business. Now one thing to keep in mind, if you see some of these websites with 50 million to 100 million ad impressions, generally what that means is they have a lot of different content on their website, they're getting a lot of traffic, but they might end up having a lot of different content that's getting traffic that has nothing to do with home decor. So generally what I'll try to do is find some of these different websites that don't have a ton of impressions, so I'll usually look for this 1.1 million to 1.5 million or less. So that's usually where I'm looking. DIY Decor Mom, The Budget Decorator, HomeAttic.io, that one is too big, so we're not gonna use it. Keep coming down, we'll do InMyOwnStyle.com. Now there's a lot of different types of websites that would be relevant for farmhouse decor, so you just wanna make sure you're finding all of these different websites. So we can choose all of these websites, we'll keep going, load more. And again, you would wanna look at a lot of these websites before you start targeting them with your ads, but you can always start this and then go back and look at these websites later. RetroRenovation.com looks like it's gonna be a good one for me. So for right now, we'll start with these 18, we'll click on done. Again, I would keep targeting more and more placements, but we'll start with 18 right here. Now, the other thing we can do is we can open up this spreadsheet, this placements report for our existing campaign. And what we can do is we can just take all the website placements out here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so I pulled this out so you can see some of these different websites that we can target here in column A. And generally what you want to do is keep an Excel worksheet of the websites that you're targeting with your advertisements. And then when you are creating a campaign, if you have some websites, maybe you have a thousand websites over time that you've been able to export, you've been able to find using the new display planner that's available through the Google ads interface as you're creating campaigns or as you're creating new ad groups. And then what we can do is we can take all these websites. So we'll take, go from number one all the way to the bottom. Okay. So we have 276 total websites that we can target. So we'll come over here and what we can do is scroll down, do enter multiple placements and we can enter placements URLs line by line or paste in a list. So we'll just paste what we have. It's gonna show all these websites here and we can do add 276 placements. So now we have 294 placements here. We can click on done. You can see our impressions per week is 1.4 billion. Now let me just show you if we do wanna add an audience, let's say we wanna target an audience in here. We'll, let's use the home decor in market audience. So people who are in the market to purchase something for their home, that brings us down to 380 million impressions per week. So essentially what we're doing is we're saying, okay, we only wanna target people who are currently in the market to buy home decor, who are 
we're visiting these different websites. And what we can also do is use demographics. Maybe we want to target a specific gender. Maybe we just want to say, let's only target people who are 35 and up. And let's go with the top 40% of household income. So we'll see what that brings us to for impressions. Okay, so now we're down to 110 million weekly impressions, but we know we're targeting an audience 35 and up in the top 40% household income. We can keep scrolling down. They're in this in-market audience to above. And we can see we're targeting all of these different placements here. And then you also have the option for targeting expansion. So essentially Google Ads is gonna find people that are similar to your audiences, similar to the placements that they're going to, but you can just use targeting expansion to get more of these weekly impressions. So if we go all the way to the right, just saying not enough data to estimate performance, but generally what it's gonna do is give us more reach if we use targeting expansion. Otherwise you can turn it off and just reach the people that are in your audiences who visit your placements. So that's how to target websites across the Google Display Network. Now the other thing that you can do, and this is something that I'll do if I'm really trying to expand my placements list, is I'll go to Google and I'll just do something like farmhouse decor ideas. I'll search some of my different keywords in here that's gonna bring up content-based websites. So right here, if you see, there's goodhousekeeping.com, countryliving.com, hgtv.com. So what I'll do is I'll add these websites to my list because they're all relevant websites for my advertisements. If we keep coming down, you're gonna see pinterest.com. So I'm not gonna target pinterest.com. Keep coming down, wayfair.com. So I don't even know if Wayfair accepts Google ads, but what you can always do is just come here and come to targeted placements and you can say enter multiple placements. We'll just enter wayfair.com, add one placement, if it doesn't accept advertisements, then your advertisements just won't show there. It's not gonna negatively affect, affect your campaign at all, so you don't have to worry about targeting a website that's not on the Google Display Network. You might as well add it here, and if it does have ad inventory available, then your ads will start showing on those placements. Now, as you start getting more and more data, you might have to increase your bids for a chance to appear on some of these websites. So certain websites, it costs a lot of money to actually show your ads on them. I would say a website like fool.com is probably pretty expensive because you have a lot of investing companies and a lot of companies that offer loan or retirement or credit cards, all these different types of companies that probably have large ad budgets and are willing to spend a lot of money because the average client for them is gonna be worth a lot of money. So keep that in mind as you're targeting your, for your display campaign. I always set my ad group bids low, so I'll set it at 25 cents for now, and then we can always increase it over time. So that's kind of my look at targeting websites across the Google Display Network, how to target websites. I would highly recommend if you're gonna keep doing this to make sure you use a spreadsheet so then you can always access this very quickly. And if you find websites that are performing well for you, you can continue to target them in the future. And I would also look at where your ads are showing and make sure that you find the websites that are driving conversions for you and then continue to target them with your ads. So that's targeting websites across the Google Display Network. You just want to come here to targeting content as you're building display campaigns or creating new display ad groups. And then you can target all of your placements here and then see how your ads perform. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.